Hello everyone, I am Yonis and I am working as a functional English and life skills trainer in Naipunya Vikasam uh, and I have been working in Talapalam school, uh, a social welfare school and I have completed my masters in English language and literature. Okay? So in this video, we are going to learn about written communication skills. Okay, So just give a thought, you know, just think about uh, communication in your daily routine sending texts or emails or posting in Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Have you ever felt confused by what someone is texting you or arguing with you? Have you ever been confusing by seeing a post like what he or she is conveying through the, through the post? Yeah, so this is all because communication deficiency. So in this video, we learn how to overcome communication deficiency. Okay, so in this video, we'll learn uh, what is uh, communication, what are types of communication, and what is the importance and significance of uh, written communication skills, and also what are the errors that we need to overcome to, uh, to attain a perfect written communication skills. Okay, so let's start. So the word communication is derived from Latin word, which means to share. So the very word itself means to share. So the communication means to share information between two or more people with an intended meaning. Okay, it is just defined as purposefully and actively exchanging information between two or more people with an intended meaning with the signs and also symbols. Okay, so this is what communication is basically to share information between two or more people. Okay, so next. What are the types of communication? There are mainly two types, verbal communication and non-verbal communication. Verbal communication, that is something which is spoken through words. Uh, it can be written or oral, spoken or written. It can be, that is verbal. And coming to non-verbal communication, it is uh, non-verbal means something which is not spoken or written through words that means signs or symbols or showing expressions facial expressions eye contact and if you see gestures hand movements leg movements all these also convey some information right so this all the gestures signs hand movements facial expressions this all comes under non-verbal communication so now we will speak about written communication skills which is under which is which comes under verbal communication skills okay so a written communication it will send a message or orders or instructs or you know in writing through letters circulars orders texting or emails and anything it can which can be written it is it is known as written communication okay so it is uh, written and oral comes under formal form of communication and an informal comes under gestures, postures, facial expression, all this comes under informal communication. So the formal way of communication is written and oral. Mainly written is a formal way of communicating because if you, if you send a circular or you order something, you'll just form and uh, you'll just send in the form of written communication. So it is a formal way of communication. Okay, the import, now we'll uh, discuss about the importance of written communications. The successful business leaders are always good, com are always good communicators, you know. Because of their communication, they earn, they get positives, positivity in, in their business. They earn more respect and they, they will earn clarity in the first place. If you communicate properly through written and or even oral, you will gain success. So communication is the first and main important thing in your success. Okay. So it creates a permanent record. For example, uh, if we take a Bhagavad Gita or Bible or Quran, they're all examples of permanent record. They, they were written thousands and thousands of years ago right but now if you see if we, if we still follow we still follow the bible quran or bhagavad gita though it was written thousands of thousands of years ago because this is because of written communication right do you understand do you getting my point so uh, the importance of uh, the main importance of written communication is maintaining a permanent record okay it's a permanent record it will be never be erased yeah 
and next it establishes a royal relationship if you if you correct uh, if you correctly write your written communications if you it it portrays or it gives clarity between a sender and the receiver it it brings clarity it brings a good relationship it brings also trust yeah so these are this is the main importance of written communication skills and we need to learn role of punctuation in written communication skills punctuation plays a major major role in written communication skills if it's a spoken that uh, punctuation is not much needed when compared to the written communication but if because it is written communication we need to see the importance of role of punctuation okay so for example i just give an example i love baking my family and friends how do you see see this example i love baking my family and friends it look it sounds weird right we can't bake a family and friends in an oven right so the here we need to learn that i love baking comma family and friends so the importance of comma has changed the whole meaning if we just forget uh, punctuation marks where to keep and where to pause the whole meaning will be changed the importance of uh, punctuation is so important in written communication that we need to change okay the commas exclamation exclamatory marks uh, question marks everything is important and in the further video we we'll learn what are the errors and how to overcome these uh, errors while in written communication okay thank you